Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to play a little bit with some uh, handhelds and I have here the, the Bremen, the 869S and uh, this one I bought from the other shop. I was never really a super fan of the handhelds until I found out that some of them really have a lot of digits and uh, so then I uh, got interested and I was playing a little bit because it was a borrow from the Ailer shop and uh, I noticed I was using it uh, more and more so then I decided to to buy one myself so it was my my first proper uh, handheld and then I noticed also in the comments that more and more people then start to compare it to the Fluke well this one is just above 200 and the Fluke is really like 500 and then I'm thinking of the Fluke uh, 87 version 5 and uh, this one is also a borrow and yeah then I thought okay but you don't necessarily need to buy them new of course if you want a proper meter you could go for a new price of the Bremen or for the same a little bit more maybe a proper second hand Fluke because well, there, there has been a very nice comparison on the EV blog. Dave did that, and he compared the Bremen to the to the Fluke, and he says on paper the Bremen has a lot more option and it's even a higher resolution and higher precision. But if you work on a job site, if you work in uh, electro, then you probably want to be seen with a yellow one. That was more or less it, I think. Uh, I think this latest version of the Fluke does have lifetime warranty but it is limited so you probably cannot set it on fire it makes sense but i think it's also for the first owner so and you can this is more than twice the price of this one so how important is it that you want to be seen with the uh, with the yellow one but then i thought you know what i'm just gonna buy a second hand one a fluke one for myself and um just see if if for this 200 you buy new a new Bremen or a second hand Fluke. So I found uh, this one. This is also an 87, but this is a 3 version. And because above that, it, the price has really become crazy. And I just wanted to see if you buy second hand, will it still be good? And for me, it's not risky because I can calibrate it myself if I need to have enough other meters that I can pair it to. But if this is your only meter, would it make sense to buy or a new Bremen or a second hand Fluke for the same price? But you have the yellow. But the price was quite high from this seller, so we, we, I was just making fun back and forward with messages. And uh, so I said to the guy, come on, this price, you're probably selling two. He said, well, okay, you're making fun, but I can sell you two if you want. And then for... Uh, a few a little bit more i got this bremen so i almost got this bremen for free and it is the bm857 so now we have four two red ones two yellow ones just have a look at them so just a quick lineup for the price and i'm talking about new price so this one is around uh, 150 and you can probably get it like 80 second hand i think this one is 210 uh, euros here in the Netherlands and yeah I don't know I never seen them second hand because people will probably just keep them um, this one the 87.3 version you find these between 250 to 275 so it's still quite high you can easily buy this one and some accessories as well for that price I've even seen them close to 300 and as you can see this one still looks pretty good actually uh, this one I have not seen second hand uh, but I will guess they will go up to 350 almost because new they are 550 so yeah that's just the prices we talk about but what do you get for that I uh, listed some specifications let's have a look at the numbers well you can still find second hand auto the, the 87 but um, yeah it is a lot less accurate than the other ones and, and you still pay around 200 to 250 so then i should absolutely go for or the version 3 or just uh, the new uh, one from uh, bremen 
Um, so it would be silly, I think, to say 50 and then just uh, go for the 87. So that's why we focus on the 87.3 and the 87.5. So quick run through the specs. You can see the 87.3 is 0.05%, which is pretty accurate. The, for the 5, that is exactly the same. And AC is even the same. Only the 5 has a higher capacitor. It, its counts are better because you have 6,000 and in high resolution mode you have 20,000 counts. Well, this one only has 4000 counts and there is a better specifications also there is even a cat 4 rating here and this one only has a cat uh, 3 rating but then if you look at the uh, at the Brahmins they have even a higher accuracy point 0 0.04 and even on AC it's uh, a lot better and the capacity is more or less the same except for the highest model of the Brahmin that really stands out and you also have the 867 uh, and that one is 0 0.03 so that's better than this one but I have the highest here the 869 uh, well you can see on AC capacitor is a lot bigger but if you look at the counts it is just eating this one here it's 50,000 in the normal mode while this one in high resolution mode is 20,000 and this one can go up to 500,000 counts and we will see later what it looks like and uh, you can see here also it even has uh, the cat4 rating just like this one and the highest Brahman here has even the cat4 up to a thousand volts so it's also higher even than the, than the fluke that was just a quick look how do these counts look like on the display okay well these high resolution uh, mode usually uh, only works on DC so I will just set them to the fault setting and first we do the normal fault setting yeah. so this is the normal mode and uh, you can already see that some have more digits than other. So let's just see what it looks like on one fold. That looks like this. Yes, it will not say exactly one also because instead of being on 10 Mac, we probably now on two and a half because they are all in parallel. But still, it should be able to deliver enough and they all do with the same uh, problem. So here it says almost one, here it says 999. Well, you can see. So we can add the extra display. Here it is just a small push. We get an extra digit here. Here it is a long push. We get an extra digit here. And with the fluke, I think is a long push here. Well, this one almost reboots doing that and you cannot really see that it is in high res mode but I did that better here here you can see in the corner high res and you can see here is that extra digit and here is even another extra let's do a little backlight test because I'm in the dark anyway a long push here it's a a little bit yellowish here poof super bright here it's one and here it even has two settings here well, this is just a simple DC test and I'm not really flabbergasted at how bad these second end meters are but this is just on the DC settings there is like uh, 5 in the end, 1 in the end, 6 in the end. Oh, it switched back. Now it says 773. But here is 3.5. So it is really like uh, below the millivolts. But if you just look how uh, the meters are adjusted, well, you can. On DC, you could say, well, second hand doesn't matter too much. This one is a little bit lower than this one. 
that this one is again a little bit higher and it, this one also this one agrees with this one this is the highest i'm first putting in a 5 volt dc just to see if the counts really matter because if you can here see uh, the high resolution mode already stopped working now because it is already like three and a half and uh, if we completely reboot here you actually lose a digit and that is because it is 4000 counts and this one is 6000 counts so here it is still in the range so if i have it now in high res and i put it in low res the number of this in doesn't really change only it says now 50000 while in high res mode it says a little bit lower but the high res mode stopped working already so here we have up to the millivolt here we have already 10 millivolts while here this one has 50,000 counts we are just on the limit where you can have that extra digit or not but it is still there even two extra then here same here two extra okay on AC well you can still see the difference between the 4000 counts or the 6000 counts and uh, yes of course these are even higher this these both to switch now back to 50,000 counts and this extra mode doesn't work on AC and this is the only meter with a double display I think you can see it says 100 hertz here in the top and I all agree it is a little bit more than 5 volt access set for this one this one was second hand and uh, yeah on AC apparently it doesn't perform that well although it is also very very little well, here you can see the frequency at the same time and I think the fluke you just need to push the button and then it will show you the frequency but then you don't see the voltage anymore but uh, the frequency is spot on here we are here is at the same time but this one it is the same can't show it at the same time so both the meters are a quality product because even it is bought second hand they are not that far out of uh, spec it, uh, we are really talking about uh, below the millivolts and on AC it is also uh, it's a little bit more on AC but it is possible because they are all between well around uh, half a percent on AC while they are really below the 0.1% in uh, in DC far below even for the Brahmins so and that that seems to be okay so I'm just going to do some resistors and capacitor tests. I will just do a time lapse for that, and then we compare the tables later to see if uh, that is also good. So I was thinking also the resistor mode. You can also do with this uh, emulated resistance and sometimes the meters have a problem with that so i just want to see how they uh, handle that also i think i just used uh, 2100 and a thousand just to see how they handle it so i put everything in the excel sheet and I'm actually surprised because the values are so close together that is so if it is an old fluke or a new fluke and the newer fluke is of course a little bit improved version of the older version the same for the Brayman but they are so close together and and I think the second hands are at least two to three years old and uh, the calibration is not that far off let me show you so here we have the list this is the reference this is my DMM check plus that was a reference with an 8.5 meter and here is the LBO2 that is compared with my uh, Cyclone 6.5 
So, um, and if we compare those values to our, here, our second hand, the new Brahman, second hand fluke, and the new fluke. As you see, the values are still so close together. So there was a lot of playing with the multimeters. I'm not really sure what I wanted to prove with this video. I just wanted to test a little bit. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe find out, is it better to buy a second hand fluke instead of a new Brahman? Or um, yeah, because if is new that much better or I just wanted to see and that's why for both brands it seems that the fluke age is very nice it is still the, the the values are still very good but the same is actually for the Bremen and that surprises me also because that fluke is really expensive and you get a quality product for sure and with fluke also you have your lifetime warranty uh, for the for the version 5 so you pay a little bit more of course um, but then I thought okay maybe it is better to if you have the 200 euros would you buy the Bremen or would you buy the second hand fluke and um, I was hoping to find out that 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 maybe the new Bremen is better or that the second hand fluke is better but in the end it doesn't really look that way. They they are still very evenly matched. So that was a little bit of a surprise actually. Yeah, another thing and that is also in the, <laughs> what we find out that if you don't mind that your meter is not yellow because on the work site you don't care if it's uh, that everyone needs to see you have a fluke or not. And um, and 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 then there is another opportunity for you because if you find a second hand Bremen, then we know now they age also very well. So then you could actually have a very nice deal. But if you do need the yellow one because you it looks more professional, then a second hand is also open for you. So I uh, hope this uh, test helps you a little bit. If you are wondering, uh, do I need to buy new? Do I need to buy used? Uh, apparently with these proper brands, it doesn't matter too much. It just depends on your wallet. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.